Strong thunderstorms were a big issue last night across much of southern Arizona. And with all that, we had our first tornado warning of the 2023 monsoon last night in central Pima County. Forewarned meteorologist Daniel McFarland joins us live with what exactly it takes for a tornado to develop in our area. Pretty unusual, Daniel. It really is, Sean. Typically, we only have maybe four or five a year, and yesterday was the first one. We had that nice line of thunderstorms moving south of Tucson, and once they got into that open area of central Pima County, that's when we saw that tornado warning pop off. In the bottom of your screen, a tornado warning was issued for portions of north central Pima County. You can see a whole lot of thunder and lightning coming down. Last night, a tornado warning was issued at 8.03. A thunderstorm was building up with 70 mile per hour winds and eventually showed enough rotation for the National Weather Service to issue a tornado warning. Tornado warnings as a whole don't last as long here as they do in the plains or in the east, and it was shortly canceled at 8.16. But it makes you think, what are the chances of us getting one here in Tucson? We do have abundant moisture at times during monsoon and excessive heat that could lead to tornado development, but we typically don't have both at the same time. We also do not have a strong jet stream over our state during monsoon, and that is important because it can supercharge thunderstorms acting as a vacuum at upper levels to influence thunderstorms closer towards the ground. Another big issue, particularly for the city of Tucson, is that many storms that could produce tornadoes move east to west, and in order for a storm to get strong enough to make a tornado reach the ground in Tucson, it will likely have to cross over the Rincon Mountains, and mountains typically tear thunderstorms down. And I'm right here in Midtown. If you look behind me in the distance, you're going to see the Rincons back there. And even though I'm that far away, there is still influence that happens this far in. So right now, I want to go ahead and bring in forewarned Chief Meteorologist Matt Brode, who was tracking the severe weather yesterday. And